in de bankethal van Hotel Torarica hebben de vicepresident Ashwin Adin, enkele ministers, de premier van Barbados Mia Motley en haar delegatie samen met de business community een onderhoud gehad. Tijdens deze meeting ging het voornamelijk over de handelsbetrekkingen tussen beide landen. Um, Excellency, we understand you are very invested minded, investor minded, and we hope today that you will get some orientation on our community. I would like to welcome the business community here also and get, get good orientation on the opportunities that will present themselves. You know, Suriname is, is a country with very rich natural resources potentials. We had, um, in the different meetings and at the CARICOM level, we have our challenges also when it comes to transportation, and I think you are well aware of the challenges that we have. But it's for us to bilaterally see what the possibilities are for us to overcome those. Um, of course, FDI, meaning in Suriname or in Barbados, we have had very good talks with our friends from Fly Always, and I know that the possibilities are there for people, our peoples to, 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 to fly to each other's nation, but also cargo. And for us as in Suriname, we try to focus on the diversification because that is the challenge for us in Suriname. And we can see how these gaps that we have mutually, how we can fill those. Um, also, we hear that the Prime Minister has put forward the possibility of us utilizing our cultural heritage by diversification and saying that Cultural tourism, if we brand it well, can be, and Barbados can help us in that endeavor as well. We have a challenge, of course, in the two treaties that we want to finish before December, that is the avoidance of double taxation and the bilateral investment, and we hope to do that before December. So we can push forward an agenda that we today, after having this discussion, we can take along in our uh, trajectory in the coming month, month or two, and give the Prime Minister, Ex Ex Excellency, a good idea for what are the opportunities in the scope of this meeting. Um, I hear the investor will be having a presentation, KKF, and we, I wish you all success and give the most of uh, what we have. Please brand that very well because the Prime Minister, I hear, is very assertive and she will be asking questions, I guess. And we hope to have you been well informed after leaving Suriname and well established here. Thank you. Let me say how pleased I am to be here in Suriname with you today. We started to have discussions in Montego Bay and the CARICOM heads of government in a bilateral that we held with your president and your minister of foreign affairs. And pursuant to that, we sent a small technical team to Suriname on the 1st and 2nd of August of this year. And consequential upon that visit, we are here today to see how we can deepen in a tangible way the relationship between our two countries. We believe that there is much to be pursued between our two countries. Suriname represents a tremendous potential for the Caribbean with respect to your land area, your people, your diversity, your richness, your creativity, and above all else, your passion. And we feel that working together, we can complement each other because we are still both developing countries with limited fiscal and other resources. And if we can best pursue those areas in which each has a comparative advantage and we work cooperatively, that we can bring benefits to each of our 
countries and to the citizens within. And we believe that both of us can help each other, therefore, within those respective areas. Similarly, from an infrastructural perspective, we believe that our private sector can work together. You have access to materials that may be of importance to us, particularly in building back out our country and our economy. Um, and equally, our companies have access to both capital and expertise that may allow them to work with many of your companies cooperatively to be able to use the combined balance sheets to access capital that might otherwise appear to be too far a reach or a stretch for your traditional Surinamese company. Similarly, we believe that there are new opportunities that the global economy presents in areas such as fintech that allow us to leapfrog in a way that doesn't require the traditional course for countries with respect to the development of aspects of the institutions for our economy. But that means having the institutional framework to accommodate it both in terms of telecommunications infrastructure, in terms of the regulatory infrastructure to accommodate it, and in terms of the bridges to allow us to participate in global markets and to attract those kinds of persons who are interested simply in being able to operate in markets that facilitate them being able to be creative while at the same time do not put at risk the systemic attributes of our financial system or do not put at risk our individual citizens if they are catering to them. <laughs> Na de ontmoeting in Hotel Torarica heeft president Boutersen de premier en haar delegatie een diner aangeboden. I wish to thank you for the fruitful meetings we had and the path we paved for the further strengthening of the bilateral relations between our two countries. Having you here is like having family from abroad. As you know, when your family is around, it's time to celebrate. Sernum and Barbados have much in common, referencing the fact that both countries have the same historical background, cultural diversity with friendly people and also face similar challenges. As you know, we are a melting pot of descendants from different ancestors, namely the indigenous people, African slaves, Chinese, Indian, and Indonesian immigrants, and even farmers from Dutch descent celebrating our festivities together, such as Easter and a colorful festival of Holy Pagua, Idul Fitr, Chinese New Year, connecting all men, women, young, and elderly people. As you enjoy meeting and greeting your family, please remember that, that we may be living in different countries, but we are connected with love and respect for each other. Finally, I wish to emphasize that together we are responsible for the future of this very special cooperation between our peoples and our countries. It is with great pride that I stand here today tonight in friendship with the people of Suriname. Mr. President, you have already eloquently reflected our common history and indeed reflected on the common challenges that we face. But I want to reinforce that this is my first official visit 
and I didn't take this decision lightly. I believe that the message that we send is that while we are both members of the CARICOM single market, that we are prepared to go outside of the comfort zone of language and of other aspects of our culture because we believe in the richness of the diversity of the Caribbean civilization. And it is for this reason that I believe that we complement each other. And we complement each other because when I think that Suriname is 1,000 times the size of Barbados' land space and twice our population, it causes me to reflect on the richness and the potential of your people and your country. But equally, it causes me to recognize the importance of us partnering to be able to move our people to that next level. We believe, as I've said all the time, that we are always stronger working together. So tonight, we come not for heavy speeches, but to reflect that family, that sense of family. When I told you that I have a mother whose roots are Dutch, born in Aruba, and that I have an uncle from Suriname, you came to me the next morning and you said, ah, you have an ectel in your family. <laughs> and I told you yes. And perhaps there's a special magic about what we have to do for our people that is built on simple things. Because very often it is simple things that make the difference. I hope that we can open for our citizens the richness of each other's culture so that they too may understand why you and I feel as strongly as we do about the need to make our countries bond even further than they have thus far. I ask simply that when you think of Barbados, you think of brothers and sisters in love and that when we think of Suriname, we in Barbados will simply say, Brasa Serenam. Ook bracht de delegatie onder leiding van het staatshoofd een bezoek aan de centrale markt waar de premier een rondleiding kreeg.
President, ladies and gentlemen, it is it is wonderful to be here. Thank you, thank you. If you ever thank doubt you, you. that we came on the same ship, if you ever doubt that we are Caribbean people, you only need to come where we are at home and at our best, the markets and with the people. And Mr. President, I have been on many, many, many trips in the last 30 years. But this is a special one because, because you didn't carry me to see big sites and big buildings. You carried me to feel hearts and to see sights and the creativity of our people. And it is like watching a painting as we move through the markets. So I thank you. I thank the Surinamese people for their love. I recall and I now understand why Alison Hines' song was so popular, Faloma Ding Ding Ding. <laughs> but I can say to you that I leave here remembering always two words, Brasa Surinam. Parado, tibaudo, parado, tibaudo. Llego a su mapreso. 